Last week, I did a webinar about Microsoft Word about creating forms. And one of the most requested things was to be able to create a submit button that would email that form to me. So I'm going to go ahead and construct exactly that. The first thing I need to do is go to File, Options, and turn on my Developer tab. So if I click on Customize Ribbon and click the checkbox for the Developer tab, I now have the Developer tab at the top of my screen, and I'll be able to work with forms at this point. I go to the Developer tab, and in the Controls group, I've got this little drop-down menu here that includes the ActiveX control of this little Command button. When I click on it, you can see a command button gets inserted. The first thing I'll do is I'll right click on it, I'll choose properties, and I'll just go ahead and replace the caption of this with just something like submit or something like that, and that'll be the text that shows up on that button. Okay, now when I close this dialog box down, the other thing I need to do is add some code. So I'll double click on the button and you see here the code box pops up on the right hand side and allows me to type in some macro code. And what I'll do is I'll just take these two lines of code right here, options.sendmailattach and activedocument.sendmail and what that'll do is open up your email, attach this Word document to that email and allow you to send that email to whomever you like. Let's go ahead and see this in action. Close the screen down and just go ahead and take it out of design mode and protect the document. And then we'll just push the submit button. So if I push the submit button here, what happens is it goes and grabs Outlook. And as you can see here, creates an email that has the attachment on it. Notice though that I've got to fill in the to field. And if I wanted to, I'd have to fill in the, the body area of this text. And so what I might want to do is make this a little bit more of an elaborate macro, something that wouldn't require this much interaction from the end user. So let's go back into design mode and again, double click the submit button and chop out that stuff that we just added. This macro might be a little too simple for our purposes. As you can see, the much larger macro here allows us to, you can see right in there, subject, body, and two fields. So if I paste that in there, you can see that it's going to automatically send an email. I can put in whatever text I want as the subject line. Good. Uh, put in the body. Now, if you notice, the body actually has a couple of line breaks in there. That's the VBCRLF. So if you don't want the line breaks, the multiple lines of text, just go ahead and take those out. So as soon as I finish typing this first line, I'll just go ahead and delete the rest of the body area. That's really not that big a deal. And the last thing is, of course, to fill in the email address I want to send this to. Now, this is going to be kind of interesting because this macro, what it does is it doesn't actually open Outlook. And uh, so it's kind of under the covers how this thing works. Let's go ahead and see it in action. So I'll go in, I'll turn off the design mode up at the top of the screen and push the submit button and watch this little dialog box come up. It'll say, hey, uh, the Word document is actually trying to send an email at this point. Would you like to allow or deny it? I push the allow button over there on the left and nothing happens. You see, almost, it looks like nothing happened at all. What I can do is go open up my Outlook and you'll see that there's a new email in there that was automatically sent with the subject line that I invented, with the attachment on it, with the body, and sent to the email address I wanted to send it to. And you can see here, if I look at the attachment, in fact, it does have all the information from the form fields. So backing up here for a second, we've got a small macro and a big one. The small macro allows us to send an email but makes the person fill in the to field. The larger one allows you to customize that a lot more. That's it for today. Be outstanding at what you do, everybody.